ladies and gentlemen, my computer down here says 7.19 p.m. That's when I shut it off because this thing has a standby mode. And so when I started it back up, it's where I left off. But the actual time is 3 a.m. I wanted to take this time to explain and express what's been going on. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been a great deal of individuals interested in my well-being and interested in my health and interested in my time and not wanting to bother me and disturb me. And I appreciate that. However, you're not my problem. Okay, it's not you all. It is me. I am the guy who worries about other people, feel other people's pain. And thus, I've been overly stressing, trying to help more people at one time. I was so stressed about getting an appeal done for two people that I promised them that I would help them. And remember I told you guys I don't do documents anymore for people, but as much as I say I don't do it, I've been doing documents for people. And I'm finding that they're not as interested in their own junk as I am. Matter of fact, one guy, and he's going to take it personal, and that's on him. But one guy I was, and I still am helping, did the paperwork for. They're actually two guys, the very same problem. One of them actually filled out a document and failed to read it, failed to edit it. Just left things exactly the way they were and sent it to the court. And of course the court dismissed it because they saw that the person just sent in a template. There was no personalization in the document whatsoever. As I told him, I can work with that. I can get around that. That's easy. However, there was another individual who just was sending everything to the court without doing the research in advance, just sending it because somebody else said it worked. Then I had somebody listen to one of my videos and I referenced another person in the video, and I specifically said, the guy who's in the video tells you that he got his information from someone else. I said, so you gotta take it with a grain of salt. You gotta do your own research. Well, he said this and he said, oh yeah, 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 sure, he said it. Yeah, <laughs> man, that means everything. So go ahead and do what he says. What are you calling me for? You see, I worry about people and their level of reasonableness. Now, I will tell you this. I, sp I had a consult yesterday, and I was stressing about this consult because I want to make sure I give people viable information. I don't just want to just be talking. That, that doesn't help you if I'm just talking to you. That's not a consult. I need to be able to give you solutions. So this particular person, he gave me some information. And the information, well, he actually gave me two pieces of information, so I gave him some information that I don't give to you guys. I said, here, this is for you. Take that with you. He told me about, in the state of Oregon, they have this thing known as the Continuous Traveler ID. Continuous Traveler ID in Oregon. And guess what? It doesn't even have an address on it. It is an official ID of the state. It is a real ID, and it literally doesn't have an address on it he has been driving around with that id and the police simply have to let him go well what a, who are we to send the ticket to it's not for me to worry about send it to the address that's on the id there's no address on the id well then i guess you can't send it no please sorry people i'm not joking it's called the continuous traveler id type it in it's usually for homeless individuals or, you know, the RVers, the people who are traveling in their RVs all the time and don't actually have a permanent address, but they live in an RV. Hey! You feel me? Ladies and gentlemen, every state has that. You just don't realize it. <laughs> the continuous traveler ID is your state-issued ID. One lady, she called me yesterday telling me that she got in an accident, no insurance, and caused damage to another vehicle. It's not that she's not willing to pay for the damage. Here's the problem. For a simple fender bender, and it was a simple fender bender, it wasn't a lot of damage to a fender. They're trying to charge her $3,500. Whoo, doggy. She thought it was too much. I said it is. You need to ask them for 
a second opinion. Just like when you go to the doctor. She said, thank you. I said, no problem. And then I gave her some other pointers. Ladies and gentlemen, there was another lady calling me from New York. We haven't done our consult yet, but we're about to do our consult. This young lady has three different mortgages she's working on. I had never told this to anybody, but I said, hey, they're trading your properties on the market. You're dealing with a securitization trustee. You need to file a complaint against that trustee. And you need to get a copy of the trustee's T1 license. I said, but what I need you to do is call the SEC and tell them what's going on and ask them what forms are they utilizing. Then I gave that information to you all. I told her I was giving it to her first, and then I was going to tell it to the rest of you. You see, this is what happens in consults. A consult is not me doing paperwork for you. It's me giving you solutions, giving you suggestions, giving you pointers, telling you what directions you may or may not take. That's what a consult is. Okay, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I have my normal Deskscape background that I've uninstalled and I have to reinstall it. Well, this is the Microsoft Windows version of it. And it's not that flashy, but the sun moves. And because it's 3 a.m., the sun is rising. But at 7 p.m., the sun had set. They didn't give me, I didn't get to see if it was nighttime, you know, because it didn't, I didn't keep it on long enough to see if it converted to nighttime. But I will tell you, I like it. I, I like the idea that's behind it. Go Microsoft! Anyway, when I tell you all that the, the problem is me, I want you all to pay attention. It is 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm doing a video. I've taken my Alterel. If you all are not familiar with Alterel, if you have insomnia, my insomnia is, has been coming back for over three months now, and I haven't done anything about it. Alterel puts me back on my regular sleep cycle. I've taken Alterel at 3 a.m. That's going to have me oversleeping in the morning because I'll be getting up in four hours. I did get to sleep, but I have a dog, and her name is Penny. Penny likes to have me take her for a walk, and then she does part of her duties, and comes back inside, and then an hour later, she wants me to take her for a walk again. Penny is going to die, okay? I apologize. <laughs> I don't mean that. Yes, I do. Penny is going to die because I'm going to slam her. <sighs> so that's been happening every night for over a week and a half. So it's been interrupting my sleep. So I haven't been able to get any real sleep. Then I've also been trying to keep five different organizations together, trying to put all of the pieces of SACOM in place and all of the pieces of TTOPP in place and all of the tax credits in place. And then I have a lot of people sending me a lot of emails over, we're probably about 150 to 175 emails a day. And the, the woman who called me this, this evening, she says, well, my name is such and such and such. I said, yes. Did you not get my response to your email? Okay, pay attention. I respond to emails. I answer my phone. She said, oh, I haven't checked my email. Well, don't you think you ought to check it before call? And never mind. I apologize. See, a lot of people think that I get upset. It's not that I'm getting upset. It's that there is a lot of pressure. Under pressure coming down on me. Okay, there is a lot of pressure. Not from you guys but pressure that I place upon myself. You don't get to add to that pressure. You can't add to that pressure. Only I can put pressure on you. Only I can do that. And so what I'm attempting to do is I'm attempting to accomplish too much at one time. Like I said, I'm working on the appeals for the people and I'm trying to get that done. To, I'm trying to get it done right. And it's gotta be perfect. And I gotta say the right, uh, 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 slow down, son. Didn't you ask for an extension? Well. I forgot I asked for an extension. Well, then you asked for the extension, so take your time. Okay, no problem. Ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> that's what I get to do. See, I get to exhale. Shoot, shoot, okay? I get to exhale, finally. It has happened to me right in front of my face, and I just cannot hide it. Okay, I get to say to myself, why are you stressing? 
So you all may not be able to hear it, but in the bedroom, I am listening to melodies. We call them kingdom melodies at the Kingdom Hall. And it's just a melody. Some of them are vocals, but it is 297 of them that are going to be playing all night for the next couple of weeks. That's to keep me in that tranquil mood. Okay? I got companies, insurance companies, calling me and coming at me crooked because I've been filing claims. <laughs> I don't have a problem filing a claim against you if I buy your product and it causes damage. You don't get to tell me no. Well, I have insurance companies telling me I'm not cooperating. <laughs> and I'm, what do you mean I'm not cooperating? Your people just called me on Friday. I called them back. They just called me again yesterday twice. And we made arrangements. So what do you mean I'm not cooperating? Oh, you must be out of your mind. Coming at me like this. Trying to threaten me. Trying to make it seem like I'm doing something wrong. See, they're doing that because they think I don't know what I know. So I told the individual, you need to cease and desist from communicating with me. You need to have one of your upper echelons communicate with me because I can't deal with you anymore because you have no respect for my person. I think you're trying to intimidate me. I think you're trying to coerce me. I think you're trying to cause me stress and the mental anguish and the agony. As I told you guys, it is causing stress. Sorry, as I'm talking, Google is listening to me and it just stopped my music and I don't want it to stop my music. And that's what is irritating. Leave my music alone, Google. Why are you messing with my music, Google? My music needs to keep playing, Google. So my music is going to keep playing in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been so many companies, and that's been my irritating experience. So many companies causing me so much stress, causing so much damage, their products not working correctly. Or like the hammock I bought, one of the screws and the metal portion where the screw went in at the base of the hammock, apparently the metal wasn't as solid as it was supposed to be. So when there was a little weight on that, it bent in. This thing is supposed to be able to hold 400 pounds. Oh, you must weigh 400 pounds, <laughs> just like your mama. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, right to the floor, and I fell on my arm, the arm that was injured by those officers, the one that they almost broke. I'm in so much pain, and I am not joking when I say pain. I cannot pick up anything with my um, left hand. I cannot grab anything without being in excruciating pain. I'll be seeing a chiropractor on Friday, but I believe that I'm going to be needing to see a neurologist. Not a joke. This is what I've been going through. I've been trying to ignore it, you know, how we are. But the older you get, the more painful things are. The longer the pain lasts, and that's what I'm dealing with. So I decided tonight, this night, this very night, starting today, we're going all the way. I'm sorry. Anyway, that I'm going to relax. I'm not going to worry. Deadlines need to be put out to pasture. I don't have any deadlines. Ladies and gentlemen, I have run the race to the finish. I have not come off completely victorious, but I am victorious. What is awaiting me is integrity, longevity, faithfulness, and the ability to stand when the time comes, I have given everything for the last 27 years to people. It's not that I'm about to start taking time for myself. What I'm going to start doing is stop putting the pressure on myself to think that I have to help everyone. You can't save everyone! Oh no, Timmy! Everyone can't be saved. Timmy, it's okay. I know it hurts, but you can't. 
you can keep trying, but uh, try as, as you may. Stop trying, Timmy. It's okay. So with that being said, I'm going to finish what I've been telling all of you so that you all will get it. The organization that we're starting is a debt collection organization. You've heard, heard me talk about this in the past. We talked about a credit correction. You, you heard us talk about it in the past. SACOM had a credit corrections department. Well, we're getting ready to correct everything. And the first person, we have three people that we're going to start with. One person's name is Erickson. Mrs. Erickson, I want you to know that you're going to be hearing from me. We're going to start with her. Then, pay attention, we're going to go to Mr. Hawkins. The one who was part of the Bradley Christopher Stark Act, one of the beneficiaries of that act. Well, what you guys didn't know is Mr. Hawkins was not only a beneficiary of the Bradley Christopher Stark Act, but he also had his own arbitration. He's a rich man. Okay. And then there's myself. And let's just say the process works this way. We can document our claims. Each one of us have a claim that we can document. We'll go back and look at the IRS tax topic and then look at that code 166. It literally says that you just have to document the claim. There has to be a prior agreement between the parties. Well, we can prove that there was a prior agreement between the parties. Hmm. We can prove that there are monetary damages that can be awarded to someone who has been damaged by another party. Not a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to do notary presentments. But we're not going to do the notary presentments everybody else and their grandfather was doing. We're not going to insist that people do this. We're not going to put liens on people's properties. The client is free to do that later. No, what we're doing is we're just documenting a debt so that we can write off the debt so that we can process it through tax filings. We're going to do everything by the book exactly what the law allows. That's what my videos have been talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of people who want to say things about me, but the one thing they can't say is that I break anybody's laws. Every video I do, you see me following the so-called statute, telling you what the statute says, and then showing you what the statute doesn't say then showing you loopholes in the statute and to this day nobody has ever challenged anything that i've ever said and i wish they would prove me wrong if i'm wrong i'll admit it i told you all i don't have a problem admitting i'm wrong these companies will say we don't owe you a thing well thank you for documenting that this is an uncollectible debt i could not have done it without you hey by the way we're going to forgive you of this uncollectible debt. Could you have a Coke and a smile? <laughs> We're going to go get a C, okay? Yeah, you could have gotten an A, but no, now you're getting a C, okay? There you go. Have a Coke and a smile. And we're going to do a 1099-C against the individuals. There's no special credentials. There are going to be people out there who are going to try to do the same thing. Knock yourselves out. But you won't be doing what we're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, We'll be documenting the debt. We'll be following the procedure. We will be doing everything that is absolutely necessary for our clients. And then they will, because we're doing that work for them and doing all the other stuff, they will pay the nominal fee, 520, sorry, because this is work. This is not just filling out some document. And, no, no, this is work. The notary presentment and everything, this is work. And you go and see if you can get a notary presentment and all of this done for 520. And then plus we're going to do 15% of the credits. You will get the other percentage. There's a reason for that. We can't tell you why that reason is. We can't explain it to you. We won't explain it to you, not even in the future. People have been wanting us as an organization to explain to them what we're doing. Get the out of here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, stop doing that to us. Stop doing that to me. Stop requiring me to do something that nobody else does.
Don't you know that's the reason why you come here? Because nobody else gives you any information. They don't give you any details. They give you, they just give you the surface information. I'm the one filling in the blanks. When I talked about the 1099 and told you I was already doing the 1099, I was already doing A for V. Well, I wasn't already doing A for V. Let me make sure of that. I wasn't already doing A for V. When I found out about A for V, I understood what A for V was. It was just nothing but a check. That's all A for V was, was a check. And so I wrote a money order. Why? Because I did the research and found, because I needed to do something that wasn't a check because I know that checks must be backed by funds in an account. You see how the sun is going down, ladies and gentlemen? I like that. Anyway, has to be backed by funds in an account. And I needed to find a way to do something that wasn't backed by funds in an account. And you know what? About two weeks ago, I found the actual statute that literally agrees and says that it can't even be challenged. The hour style money order when they say certain information on the money order. But because people didn't do their research, they're having their money orders ignored. Well, guess what? We are creating an organization for all of you who did your money orders and you sent them to all these companies and banks and everybody and their grandfather and you have copies of them and you have proof that you sent it. Well, we are going to send them the information necessary to give you your tax credits on those money orders. I've been writing these hour style money orders and they've been ignoring me. Well, they won't be ignoring you no more. You feel me? I feel for you. I think I love you. You better go love somebody else. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're getting ready to do. So all of you who are in despair thinking you did all of that for nothing, you tried all of this for nothing, we are putting together an organization that's going to undo the damage caused by your trying and thinking you didn't accomplish anything. Every one of you who sent out a money order, every one of you who sent out a demand letter, every one of you who notified somebody of your claim against them, who put a motion into a court challenging jurisdiction and they did not respond, who spent time in jail for something you did not do or something you did do, but they violated your rights in the process, we are creating a company so that you can file your claim, get your tax credits in less than six months, and be tax exempt for the rest of your life. And then use those tax credits. We won't be telling you how to do this. This is your research. Use those tax credits to offset and purchase items. That's what we're doing. That's the organization I'm putting together. That's the stress I put upon myself. Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost 4 o'clock. It's uh, 327. See, the clock on the the screen it's caught up with the 327 it was seven o'clock now it's 327 so it caught up and now 328 you see what i'm talking about so because of that i need to go lay down because i did take the alterel and alterel works for me it will i promise you i will sleep and i will fall asleep tonight even though i have my meeting at the kingdom hall <laughs> i've already done my studying and preparation for that with the exception of the Congregation Bible study, and I have to finish that. Why am I telling you all this? Because despite doing the videos, despite almost coming, what the? Okay, despite doing stuff like that, I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah is my God, my Father, my Lord, my Savior, my King. Jesus, my brother, that's my buddy, my pal, my best friend. We are peas in a pod. They come first, not you all. And that's what people need to realize. See, for some reason, some of you think I owe you something. Please stop thinking that. Please stop communicating with me as if I have an obligation to you. I don't have an obligation to you. I don't owe you a D.A. got D mother thing, okay? Just so that you understand. I mean, because some of you are not getting it. Those of you who are Jehovah's Witnesses, let me say something to you specially. This is a special bulletin. I ain't got nothing for you. You already know that Jehovah's supposed to be your shield, your strength, your arm, your crag, your fortress, 
you need to be relying on him. So stop thinking that I am going to provide you some special benefit. Now, Ty, I ain't talking about you. But the rest of you out there, y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah, uh huh, you. That, yeah, that's right. Stop. Uh -uh, stop looking like I. Yes, I'm talking to you. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for the rest of you who are not Jehovah's Witnesses, okay, this is especially for you. I ask for the opportunity of helping people, providing them a little glimpse of hope. I do believe this organization that we're putting together, in addition to SACOM, TTOPP, SAA, Sitcom Arbitration Association, you know what I'm saying, then the Sitcom 911, then the Defrauded Homeowners of America, and all the other organizations, then all the SAP packs and everything. I do believe that that will do exactly that for each one of you. Now, while we're starting up the new organization, that organization is separate from SACOM. The individuals are separate from SACOM, intentionally separate. You feel me? Because they're separate from SACOM, their work is completely separate, so it will not interfere. It just means more work for me. So that's an extra day of the week that I don't have to relax. But that's my choice, not yours. So don't worry about it. Stay up out of my business is what I'm trying to tell you. Well, you need to stop telling us your business and we'll stay up out of your business. Well, look here, mother. I can tell you about whatever I want. That's my choice. Well, I can stay in your business whenever I want. That's my choice. And I can put my foot up the center of your... Because that's my choice. They're size 13s, mother... <sighs> Do you see what I'm saying, people? I am really trying to explain that I am up at 3 o'clock in the morning thinking about you all. Okay, so stay out of my business. My thinking about you is not your business. My thinking about you all is my business. Okay, so stop making it seem like I owe you something, because I don't. Those of you who come at me that way, you will be ignored. I am going to start blocking people on my email. Do not comment about my videos in my emails. Do not, eon at eon.tv, do not write that email. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be starting that company very soon, because that's mine. That's for me, so hopefully by June, that will be up and going because I will have the time then. The people we're bringing in now, they are pretty capable and competent. The people at SACOM, the amount of documents that they're completing to make sure that we get those tax credits out to you guys, they are sending me all those documents, and I got to proofread those documents, and I'll be doing that today and tomorrow. But by the weekend, that will be done, because that's what they're working on, and then they're going to start assigning the tax credits to everyone. That's what they've been working on, and they've been doing it diligently. They've been coming together. I've been surprised, but not really, because we have a good group of people who are still here. Okay? So bear with us. Bear with me. It hasn't been a full year since I've been off vacation. So please understand, a lot has been done. Over 500 videos have been done since I have not been on vacation. Go back and look at anyone else who's been put on vacation and got off vacation. Go and see if anyone has done what I have done each and single every time. That's why I said each and single every time. Uh, did you mean each and every single time? No, each and single every time, okay? Mother, dyslexia, mother, you better leave me to, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, let me put it to you like this, because it makes it more simple this way, because we're not going past 30 minutes, so we got less than a minute for me to talk, the information that has been provided all of you, nobody else is giving you, this man talks about it, all of a sudden, people get ideas, and I'm okay with that, because if it wasn't for Mr. Christopher talking about the 1099 and somebody sending me his video, then I would not have been doing a video on 1099s because I left that junk a long time ago. It is not junk. I told you it's A for V, but I don't do the debt anymore thing. I thought you just said that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Ladies and gentlemen, go back and listen to the video and see what we're going to be doing. I'm not doing our style money orders anymore but I am helping people to write off so much junk because that's 
the key. Everybody wants exemption? We're about to give it to you. Got to go, ladies and gentlemen. I